The day is finally here, the final golden ticket drop of Madden 22. And we have 99 overall golden ticket Derrick Henry. And the second that we saw quarterback Derrick Henry on Christmas Day, we knew that he was going to get a golden ticket. And this card is basically, actually, you know what he is? He is the perfect Madden 22 quarterback. He's got no holes. You guys see 99s across the board, 97 speed. He's six foot three, so a good height can air truck he's got good strength awareness can make guys miss good cod the juke the stiff arm the break tackle the break sack the carrying has the best release in the game speed wise as far as preference some do prefer gen 3 over slinger 1 but from the pocket slinger 1 is the best release in the game and you pair that with the speed the stats the perfect ability buckets two field general slots this is probably the best card in madden 22 i, I mean I know, unfortunately, we did have to wait until the final golden ticket drop of the year. And a lot of us don't really play this game as much anymore. But I mean, yeah, if a card was going to bring some people back to this game, this would be the card. He is basically perfect. So pretty standard ability slots or ability set up on Derrick Henry today. Running gun, gunslinger, hot route, and fearless um, for just 8 AP. So that's the plan. Let's just hop into the gameplay. And let's see what golden ticket Derrick Henry can do. All right, here we go. We got game number one with Derrick Henry. I didn't get to see my opponent's top three. I, I wasn't able to see exactly what it was, but I would assume it's pretty solid. I mean, it is June, mid-June now, and uh, we are on we are in the much street, so I'd assume never mind. Is that is that superstar MVP Von Miller? No way. There's no way that's actually superstar MVP Von Miller out there, right? There's actually no way. There's Derrick Henry. We all know that release is going to be super buttery. Yeah, Slinger 1. I mean, if Derrick Henry does get into more of, more of an affordable price range, I'll definitely rock with him. Um, For 1.5 mil, I, I, I won't be able to do it as we're going to score. Yeah, this guy's team's not good. Yeah, let's. this guy's team's not good. Let's, um, let's skip out of here and let's try to play some real competition. This is like, I just took that to the crib somehow. All right, here we go. QB Derrick Henry. Um, I guess, you know, game one and a half, I guess. Uh, but here we go. And do I, yeah, I'll trust that. Dude, that release is so buttery. Oh, I wish I kind of got off the sideline. I really, I really wish I got off the sideline. I really wish I did. A little we'll, we'll quick outside. Spin that back, Vernon. Spin it back again. There we go. Good work. And yeah, I do feel like with Derrick Henry, we do got to run the ball at least, you know, once or twice. I mean, he got, he's got 97 speed. I, I know his throwing stats are, you know, just amazing. Like, like you saw them, but also a really good runner with the air truck and all those things as well. Um, he, actually did, he actually did a really good job as we somehow fall forward for two on that. He, he, it's almost like he knew that play was coming. That was mid blitz. You're going to call mid blitz in that scenario. That's kind of a crazy call. I won't even lie. That's, a, that's actually a wild call. All right. I think just because I think it's mid blitz, I'm going to keep some people in here. Um, the plan here is Elijah Moore, obviously. It's what we want. Get it outside. And a boy, Elijah, first down. Uh, just trying to deal with the pressure, I guess, is what we got to do. I got to take the check down. That's one That's one thing I always got to re like remind myself is, you know, like, there is a short game as far as passing goes. It's not all about either running the ball or throwing a deep bomb, which I kind of get stuck in. I get stuck in that headspace where I, like, I have to throw either a bomb or or I'm running the ball. It's, one, it's, there's, it's always one of the two. Should have. See, I'm taking it short again. Little stick and he's got he's got it too tall out there oh man and for early next week i am planning on making a madden 23 wishlist video um mainly just for ultimate team and not really you know gameplay related maybe some i mean obviously content and gameplay are kind of intertwined but um i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna make i'm gonna be making that video early next week so drop some comments down below what do you guys want to see in madden 23 that you may have not seen in madden 22 i think I don't know if this game is a great, you know, base for Madden 23. I feel like, you know, it's basically just going to be um, Madden 23. Madden 23 is basically just going to be Madden 22 remastered. It almost feels like um, it's, there's some differences in the beta um, that I felt. But I, I mean, it's basically this game's going to be a, a base for what Madden 23 is going to be gameplay wise. Um, but as far as ultimate team goes, content, stuff like that. Let me know what you guys want to see down below as Derek Henry throws another touchdown. Um, making it look easy, man. Making it look real easy. All right. So the zigs that we want again, if we can get that. Actually, I might go here with Derek. Oh, give me loose. Okay. Do we? Am I punching this? Oh yeah, we are gonna punch that. 
damn okay i'm surprised we actually got the edge there but i guess i mean i, I don't really know i feel like i feel like i probably should have got shit on right there no escape artist right i mean i probably should have it's actually kind of crazy to think about how overpowered quarterback derrick henry actually was i mean they tried to nerf him I i'm talking about his first card like like they tried to nerf him but like you really i'm getting this ball too that's crazy <laughs> a little onside kick for you guys but they tried to nerf him with his accuracy stats for some reason on the derrick henry card it didn't matter what his accuracy stats were but yeah slinger one escape artist was still cheap you really didn't need gunslinger i mean he was oh my at the time he was ridiculous man all right so we are uh two for two today on onside kicks um i i guess the first one wasn't an onside kick but it kind of worked that way but yeah we're on offense derrick henry back at the helm kind of quicker than i thought we're rocking the all black jets unis as well i i switched up the unis a little bit i, I switched them up i was getting sick of rocking the uh the mid to early 2000s jets unis but oh man these all black unis so clean just so clean so here we go perry on the wheel route i do i haven't used my team in a minute actually this kind of feel it feels weird using all my guys again run them over there we go boy. let's go perry hey you, you guys know perry wants it man you guys know that already and here we go i'm gonna, gonna take yeah i'm gonna take perry in the backfield again kind of been doing a lot of check downs today um oh my goodness he's violent i do want to throw a bomb though right we got to throw a bomb with henry i haven't done that yet all right next drive on offense we're gonna just throw up a beater um it, it should work I, I feel like it's gonna work i feel like i feel like you know just today so far i've thrown enough underneath stuff that we got to get rewarded with a bomb like we have to we really don't have another choice so here we go um that's gonna get bombed wait good click off on him good click off on him very good click off on him actually i was trying to bait him like i was gonna go inside he didn't take it and then um yeah he, he did a good job i mean it's man that cross was probably open actually maybe not there was a deep half yeah, i don't know if that was actually open if that other cross does get open so be it but i feel like vernon's got to get open here yeah okay that's gonna be a vernon td easy was that that had to have been open before that literally had to have been open before that had to have been you played man i mean maybe there's a, a half on that side before but even if i there was a half that streak pulls it or pushes it back is the right way is, is the right is the right terminology i believe and yeah i've been playing some brutal madden recently i mean it's not like my madden my madden abilities that crazy when i'm playing the game every single day but right now it is oh my it, it is brutal actually i'm actually surprised at how well this gameplay has gone but it has been like actually unbelievable how i've not only ever been this bad at a madden game in a long time throw it back here again is he gonna try hit Nachi back at the end no he's not oh that that's legal oh oh he's one he wants Nachi. yep okay all right up to we're gonna go to the beater first play um back on offense and, oh all right so that is going to do it for the derrick henry gameplay unfortunately i wasn't able to really show off everything i wanted to with this card today but you guys get the idea um the stats are perfect the release is buttery from the pocket i'm on the run slinger one does have some slight issues but it is june you guys kind of know the whole spiel between gen 3 and slinger one but yeah if slinger one is your preference derrick henry is qb1 if you like gen 3 i think cam newton is qb1 um that's my opinion on the two guys i like slinger one so i would take derrick henry but yeah if you like gen 3 cam newton ben Denucci, um there's some other good options out there that i'm forgetting for some reason uh gen 3 quarterbacks there's a bunch of them a bunch of them so yeah if you are new here hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications and if you did enjoy today's video do not forget to hit that like button and as always i'll see you boys in the next one